There was a time in my life where if you were to ask me, what are your favorite things to wear? I'd be like, or I would name you something that was super fancy for like when I was going to go get really, really dressed up. But as far as just like clothes to wear in my everyday life, I got nothing. I had nothing. I mean, I had stuff. I had plenty of clothes, but nothing that was really exciting. I mean, it fit me, covered me up. It didn't, it was comfortable, but it just, just really wasn't exciting. So anyway, long story short, I would have never been able to make this video a few years ago. We can talk about that in more detail in another video if you would like about why we don't like our closets. I think I've made videos like that, but I do like mine now. So I thought I would make a video about some things that I have been wearing on repeat nonstop over the last few weeks, few months, and share them with you. Might give you some ideas if you're, you too are not excited about your closet, but you still need to get dressed because we do in most areas. I also have two items. I, I definitely have more than this, but I'm just gonna name two items at the end that I can already tell are going to be my go-to, two of my go-to fall items. One of them's a pair of jeans. I'm so excited about that. And I also, I have some makeup items, which is crazy because I am by nobody's stretch of the imagination, a makeup expert, but I guess that would, I mean, I actually found some that actually work for me and my life and my face and everything. And, and I'm gonna share those with you as well because they were a life changer. Life changer, guys. So not to repeat myself, I've told you about in other videos, this high neck tank top that I wore almost every day of the summer. I have it in several different colors and I would <laughs> usually end up wearing it at least one part of every day because it was just so easy and it just went with everything and just could get it dressed up or down. So I won't go into all that because I've already talked about it. And I also told you about these shorts that I found from Express. I bought them in every color that they had in my size. I wish they would make more in more colors. New items that I have not talked about that I will share with you that I've been loving so far. One of them is this shirt I got from Anthropology that it's like an elbow sleeve. And I, when I first got it in, I didn't really think I was gonna like it because it's kind of a medium weight fabric, but I kept it because I liked the way it looked on me so much and I liked the color, but I ended up wearing it quite a bit over the summer. I used them for like monochrome outfits, but I just thought they looked very like put together as like a comfortable top to wear with even jean shorts or just basically wear with anything. But I felt like it looked a little more elevated than just your basic t-shirt, but I liked that it covered my arms and my arm was all bruised at that point with, <laughs> because I'd broken it. And I just felt like it looked not quite so casual, but I definitely could wear it for casual occasions and it was very comfortable. Comfort is my main thing. Like if something's not comfortable, if the fabric feels funny, I'm just, I'm not gonna end up wearing it that much. Another top that I have worn, and I've shown you this in another video, but I have actually ended up wearing it quite a bit and it's long sleeves and it's still very hot here in Florida, but it's this cardigan and I have been looking for a cardigan, like a black cardigan that I could, that was fitted, that I could button up partially or all the way, or just kind of make it into a top that I could wear over several different types of bottom. So when I went to Colorado, I wore it a lot and it was a great uh, long sleeve for that weather and I can definitely tell I'm gonna be wearing it throughout the fall but it's thin enough like it's not super thick material so I can still kind of wear it if I'm gonna go somewhere out to dinner in Florida here and I'm going out at night or going somewhere this air conditioning it's perfect for that so I love t-shirt tops like I, I, I if I could just wear a t-shirt all day I'd be very happy but I don't want to do that because then I start even feeling kind of like Ugh, like I'm just like gosh I just feel so bummy so I like t-shirts tops that feel like a t-shirt but they don't look like a t-shirt for instance this one I'm wearing now now let me tell you the backstory on this one I have been looking for a shoulder pad top and I've tried so many out I think they had some at Zara they had some at H&M I tried like a really high-end one tried all kinds and they just made me look way too much like I was trying out for the football team and Perhaps this one does as well, but this one, I got it in a size small and I'm kind of between a small and a medium, but I normally order a size medium. And somehow like the shoulder pads are slim enough and it, the cut is like fitted enough, but obviously it's not too fitted to where it just, it does what I wanted it to do. So you may be looking at me and on camera, things can look a little bit exaggerated, but, um, and you may think this is a little much, but I really wanted that like square look. I just feel like it looks so elevated and I'm very into that right now. I love that it has this laser cut detail on the shoulder. So it makes it a little bit more interesting than just a basic t-shirt, but I can wear it with any kind of bottom and it looks great. I have yet to find a bottom that it does not look good with. It just 
looks amazing and I love little shoulder pads it makes me look a little elevated makes people want to respect me because I got large shoulders I'm just kidding that's not happened and maybe to you it also looks like I'm still trying out for that football team but I I'm just, just really into it and I've been wearing this as many times as I can for whatever reason the other t-shirt top I have that I have also been wearing is this white one it's a white all these are like made out of cotton or like a cotton linen blend or like some kind of very soft material fabric blend. Very t-shirty, honestly. So I had this white one that does the exact same thing. It's a t-shirt, feels like I'm wearing a t-shirt, but it looks cute and I can wear it with almost any bottom. This one I feel like is a little more casual, of course, than the, this one with shoulder pads. But I love that I can wear it with basically any bottom or I could wear it with a very casual bottom and it still looks like I put myself together. I don't look like I literally just am wearing the same shirt that I put on after I woke up this morning, which I've definitely done that before and I've hoped nobody have noticed. Another top that has been great for summers here in Florida, but it still makes me look like I care about life, um, has been this navy silk top. It's from Lily Silk and I love it for Florida, so I won't wear it if I'm going to be outside all day because I just feel like I don't want to sweat to death in silk. But if I'm going to go somewhere and I'm not going to be sweating to death all day or not going to be sitting outside all day, I will wear this with basically any bottom. I feel like I normally have put this with something very casual on the bottom because I'm just kind of feeling like I just want to throw on something really quick, but I don't want to look like I just threw on something really quick. And so adding this silk top, it just makes it look a little bit more elevated than just, again, a regular old t-shirt. But obviously silk you can dress this up a lot if you want to you can you know decorate it with some jewelry all kinds of things so this has been a great one as well and i can definitely see myself wearing this into fall especially especially fall in florida so i love a good white button down and i had one that used to be my favorite and then now I just, it's too oversized right now. I've kind of put it away for a while. Maybe I'll bring it back later. But my favorite white button up that I was wearing a lot over the summertime, I wore it in New York City when I was there. It's a kind of a linen blend. I think it's linen cotton blend. I don't remember, but it's a very like, you know, gauzy fabric. So it's this white button up by the brand Rails. And it has been wonderful for fall in Florida for when I'm going to be sweaty, but I still want to look put together. And so I don't know if I'll be wearing that so much as we go into, you know, the colder weather and the winter, it'll definitely be brought back out next spring, but I have a new white button up and I went on a hunt for a while. I ordered so many white button ups from all kinds of places that promised to have the best <laughs> until I found the one that I liked. I kept this one and I really like it for a fall and winter white button up. It's kind of a medium or heavier weight fabric or heavier weight cotton and it just looks, looks very crisp. I can wear it under things. I can wear it by itself. You know, it has this kind of crisp white shirt look that I love for the fall and winter. Whereas in the summertime, I like the more, you know, gauzy, loose fit, kind of easy, flowy shirt, flowy fabrics. I will link both of those below, but definitely check those two out if you've been looking for a white button up, but you really haven't found one that you love. This next one's going to surprise you because it surprised me. Um, orange is not my color. It just, it doesn't go on my skin tone. It, I mean, if I were to go to an expert, they'd be like, yeah, don't wear orange. It just, it's not, it's not for you. But I love orange right now. <laughs> I've really been into it. And I think I just started seeing it everywhere and I was like, wow, I really like that. Gotta get me some orange. And I did. It's a, another button up. And y'all, when I tell you I've tried button ups on, mm, I want it to be loose fit, a little bit oversized, but I don't want it to be gargantuan. I don't want it to be super heavy, but I don't want it to be too thin. This orange button up from the Frankie shop. It's supposed to be like one of the best. So I ordered it and I, I did fall in love. And I have been wearing this orange one I just all kinds of places. It was really shocking to me how much I went to it this summer even. I love the way it just stayed up on my arms. Like I didn't really even have to roll up the sleeves because just the way the fabric is, it's just the right amount of stretchiness to kind of sit on your arms. And I loved that it was a thinner fabric so I wasn't too hot. I loved the color, even though it's not my color, I still love it. <laughs> so I wore it all over the place. They have this exact same shirt in different colors and they actually just came out with black and in navy. And I'm gonna order it in either black or navy, probably black because I'm having a black moment right now. Really loving black, really love the weight, the crispiness of this shirt, if you can call a shirt crispy. So I'm probably gonna order the black. The two items that I, pretty positive I'm gonna be wearing on repeat throughout the fall and throughout the winter. One is a pair of jeans. I just got them. It's by Mother, Mother Denim. I bought a pair of Mother Denim 
literally 15 years ago. I still have the pair. If I was only that skinny, I could still wear them. I know I really should get rid of them, but I just loved them so much. So I'm kind of hanging on to them. Just, just, just make sure that I really am never going to be able to fit into them ever again. <laughs> Put away in another closet. And for some reason, ever since then, I really haven't found any mother denim that I've been obsessed with. But I randomly found this pair, black jeans. I've really been into black denim lately. They're straight leg. They're, I love the ankle crop. I love the distressed hem at the very bottom. No distressing anything anywhere else. And they're very high-waisted. And they have just enough stretch in them to where they suck me in but they don't pinch me or anything like that. They really just fit great. They look great. They're definitely going to be my go-to. I love that I can wear them with boots. I can wear them with flats. I can wear them with sandals. I can wear them with, um, you know, basically any shoe. Mother denim is not cheap. I will tell you that. But again, like with this, these kind of things, especially with jeans, that's something that I plan on keeping for, you know, decades. I don't really plan on getting rid of that anytime soon. And I know that I will wear it to get my cost per wear really, really low. The other item, that I know I'm going to be wearing on repeat through the fall. It's kind of a surprise item, but it's this green sweater and it's got this like large plaid print. It's got gold buttons, but it is so soft and so cozy, but it's cute. And so I love that it's really comfortable, but it looks, you know, normal and put together. So I feel like I'm going to wear it for like, if I'm going to the movies, but I want to, you know, be really comfortable, but maybe we're going to dinner before or after, or, um, you know, when I went to Aspen, I wore it a couple times during our Aspen trip. I can layer it over things. I can wear it by itself. It's a beautiful color. It looks, you know, kind of fancy. Um, I can push up my sleeves if I want to. I just love everything about this sweater. It's very cozy and comfortable, but also cute. And that is my jam right now. I can wear it with my black jeans. I can wear it with my regular jeans. If I do another video like this, I will have to let you know how my predictions turned out to be correct. The makeup products that I am just obsessed with. Okay, listen, I was in New York City. I was running out of concealer and I'm like, well, I'm in New York, I'm in Saks. Let me go get some concealer. So I went to Bobbi Brown counter because, you know, it's kind of for women my age and, and she seems to just know what she's talking about every time I see her on TikTok. So I went to the Bobbi Brown counter, I'm like I need some concealer. She's like, okay. And the woman did not try to sell me anything. I mean, she was very pleasant, just amazing, you know, very friendly and personable, but she wasn't like, here, try this, try this. I got the new product. Oh, let me try this on your face. Like nothing like that. Um, but I bought lots of things from her. First, she started with some color corrector, which I already had a color corrector for my dark circles. But I mean, I got one that I got at Target. And I nothing wrong with it. I didn't think until I tried the Bobbi Brown color corrector, and it was amazing. So basically, what she did, and for me, she said use a lot of color corrector and just a little bit of concealer. So that's what I got. I got the color corrector, which I use on my under eyes, and then I put the concealer over. I asked her about the concealer. So she put some Bobbi Brown concealer on me, this little stick. I've never tried Bobbi Brown concealer. I was into that too. I was into the whole the whole process, the whole thing. So then I was like, you know, I, I kind of wanted some red lipstick. I The ones I have are really sheer, I'm just kind of ready for a new one. She was like, well, I have one for you. So now the other product, now this is the one that is like life changing. I don't even understand it. So I was looking pretty rough at the end of the day because I had been out in New York City all day long, running around, buying luxury things. If you saw my video, I was like, I was all over the place, uptown, downtown, everywhere, just shopping, <laughs> having a wonderful time. I was looking a little rough. So I started asking her about foundation and she's like, oh, well, I can put some on you. We'll figure out your color. So first she was like, you look a little bit dry. And I was dry because I had started some retinol and it was making my skin peel. And so my skin was really flaky. She's like, you're looking a little dry. I'm like, I know it was kind of flaky. She said, I'm gonna put some moisturizer on you. I said, okay. So she did. And then she put my concealer on. I looked in the mirror and all my flaky dryness was gone. I did not know what kind of sorcery that was. It was this, this was the sorcery. And it's called Bear Glow and she put it on before my makeup. It gave me this dewy, non-dry, non-flaky, non, I've been using retinol and it's ripping up my face look. And I, I, I was like, I'm sold. Give me eight bottles. Um, she's like, sorry, we're out. Wonderful. And so I looked online, they were just out everywhere. Like even Amazon was out of this product. So you put this stuff on before your makeup and it just gives you this kind of a little bit slightly dewy finish, like not wet or like greasy or anything. The other thing you can do is you can put it on after your makeup, like put it a little here or kind of, you know, here where you want like a just teensy weensy bit of shine. But again, not nothing like 
oily looking. If I was better at lighting and better at cameras and, um, and all that stuff, I could show it to you how it looks on my face, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to, we're going to see what, how, how that works. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to show you personally cause I'm just suck at all this technical stuff. But anyway, so love it. If that, if, if you've had an issue with those kinds of things, I would highly recommend that one. <laughs> I'm going to link it below. Hopefully it's in stock. So I hope you like this video. It's a little different for me. I've never done one of these videos where I'm, you know, sharing things like this. Um, so let me know if you like it. If I gave you any tips, if you're going to try out this magical bottle of sorcery, um, <laughs> in here, they don't, they don't, they haven't sponsored me by the way. That Bobby Brown does not know I exist. Um, but I am definitely her target market. So thank you, Miss Brown. And anyway, I'm going to link everything below in the description box with my size and hopefully I'll be able to find everything still. And, um, I will be back to your regularly scheduled, regularly scheduled programming on Thursday. Actually, I'm going to start doing Thursday videos as much as I can. So it'd be Thursday and Sunday, two videos a week. I hope you don't get sick of me. If you do, I'll scale it back down to one. Um, but yeah, we're going to try that for a while and see what happens. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for watching and, um, I will see you next time.